I thought I would put a couple of flights on my converted chuck glider. This is without a doubt one of the most durable aircraft that I have made of EPP foam. I have nosed this thing in hard, it, I would say at least half a dozen times. It just bounces up off the ground. All I have to do is straighten up the main wing and throw it back in the air. So it's been a been a while since I've flown this plane. Let's get it near. See what direction our wind is coming from now. Alright, there we go. I'm just running a little 350 milliamp 2S lipo in it. I'm afraid my lipos are starting to show their age a little bit. I've had these for a long time and they have a lot of cycles on them. Check that out. That is too cool. Pretty fast little bird too. Has a very wide flight envelope. <laughs> very, very maneuverable. And the only reason I've ever crashed this plane is because I've just run out of talent, you know? Woo! <laughs> I gotta be, I gotta be careful getting too close to myself when it's breezy out. I thought that was gonna get me for sure. Not a bad roll rate. Yeah, you can see the wind pushing it around a little bit, huh? But pretty wide flight envelope. That can fly fairly slow. <laughs> that is so sweet. Uh oh, timer. Whoa, that's some wind. Alright, let's bring it back around the land. Ta-da! <laughs> Converted EPP chuck glider. This thing is so much fun and so durable. I think we should put another battery pack on it. What do you think? Let's go. Okay, let's get this converted EPP chuck glider back in the air. 
wind. Huh, I almost launched it downwind there. Now I was wrong about the battery. I had it in the previous flight. It was actually a 400 milliamp 2S LiPo, a fully max. And the one that I have in here now is a fully max 450 milliamp 2S LiPo. And I think those are just 25C LiPos. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't require a lot of amp draw, even at full throttle, so. I go as light as I can. Oh, stay out of the sun. That's terrible. Yeah, that has a decent roll rate. Woo, speedy. <laughs> yeah, I've been wanting to make a, a tractor version of one of these gliders, but I just have not had the time with all my other projects, reviews, etc. I have just been covered up with what, you know, with what free time I have to do all this. But I'm hoping before the end of the year I will have a tractor version of this plane, full four channel with the rudder, because this one is just bank and yank, um, aileron and rudder, I mean aileron and elevator, excuse me. Extremely maneuverable though. <laughs> Let's slow her down a little bit. Hard to get out of the throttle sometimes. Getting a little bit of wind up there. I hope you guys can see this okay against these gray clouds. I think it has adequate power, you know, to push it through those big wide loops. I wish I had, mm, you know me, I always want more power, so. Even though it has adequate power, I would like to have a little bit more. Alright, there's our timer yelling at us again, just when we're having fun. We gotta do one more split S maneuver, don't we? Yeah, sure we do. Woo! A fast little chuck lighter. All right, so we'll bring in. Gotta turn down wind and come up wind. Power off. Isn't that sweet? Man, I have a lot of fun with this thing. I, I really did not expect this converted chuck glider to fly and be as aerobatic as it is but boy that worked out really well i will have links in the show notes to the playlist for this converted chuck glider which will also have you know links to the um, tutorial for the conversion uh, links to all the components that i used in the conversion and you know it works out really well and um 
you know, with the new restrictions in the U.S. on planes over 250 grams, I think the all-up weight on this is about 110, 115 grams, so you're well under the restrictions, so that's something to consider, too. And, um, I don't know, I'll introduce some sometime soon all the aircraft that that I have in my inventory that are under 250 grams and I would say that's at least half of them so so anyway thanks for watching and I will see you in the air